Hey guys, Berinfos here and welcome to another tech video. Every once in a while I like upgrading my PC and whenever I do I make one of these one-off short videos and basically show the item I just got and also give a tutorial on how to properly install it onto your PC and how to properly use it in Windows. Don't worry guys, I have worked in a PC hardware shop, I have assembled many computers before, so your build is safe with me, whatever I do in this video you can do as well without any issues whatsoever if you follow this guide correctly. So today's topic is gonna be hard drives. I recently purchased, like a half a month ago, I purchased a Western Digital 6TB hard drive. This is the black edition, we have many editions, so you might be very confused, they're all on the screen, you might be very confused about that. I need a black version, because it's the most reliable one, and the biggest one, and supposedly it's the more, most reliable one, supposedly also the gold version, which is a new version, is uh, more reliable than this one, however it's a new hard drive. I don't trust new tech straight away. This has proven to be super useful and super reliable. The gold version is not, because it's still brand new, so I would not invest, invest so much cash into a gold version. So I purchased myself the black edition, and I suggest buying the same thing if you are like me. I'm a YouTuber, and every single day I record videos. From 100 gigabytes to 500 gigabytes are put on the PC every single day. And my puny Toshiba 1TB cannot keep up anymore. Poor little thing, so much torture has been caused to you. So I have a hard drive and also have an SSD which you can't currently see, let me show it to you guys. I have an SSD over here and a hard drive. I have Windows 7 on the Toshiba HDD and also Windows 10 on the SSD. Whenever I need to use Windows 7 I load it up, I load it up on the hard drive. This is going to be used only for storage. And installing such a hard drive, which is 6 terabytes, is not as easy as you would think. It's not just plug it in and play. It's not like that. What you have to do is some tweaks. You have to tweak it a little bit in order to make it work because every single hard drive, which is more than 2 terabytes, cannot be used straight away. You have to do some tweaking. So I'm going to show you what exactly you need to do and how to properly install it over here. Now, once you get such a hard drive, is gonna come completely naked. As you can see, just a hard drive, nothing else with it. It comes completely naked. It also applies to pretty much all the other hard drive manufacturers. They come completely naked, and by naked I mean without any cables. So there's of course some exceptions. Some manufacturers give SATA cables to you, but this one does not. So make sure you buy some SATA cables before you buy this thing, because once it comes, you wanna plug it in and play straight away. However, you don't want to wait for SATA cables, right? Okay, so there's two types of SATA cables. What you're going to need is either this one which is bended or this one which is not bent. As you can see, no bend whatsoever. You can use any of these, it does not matter, it's just for convenience. This one is bended so you can go in more tight squeezes, tight corners, whatever. And the other one is just straight. You're going to need one of these cables and also another cable coming from the PSU. This goes from the hard drive to the motherboard. The other one goes from the PSU to the hard drive, so it needs power in order to to work, you know. I put you guys closer so you can see what I'm doing. As you can see we have the Toshiba HD over here and the Samsung SSD over here. I don't have a tray for the SSD but I don't need one. SSDs don't really need such a thing but this hard drive have to be put on one of these things. So I'm going to show you how to exactly do it. This is going to be for Windows 10, this is for Windows 7, and this is for storage. So are you guys ready? Ooh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Okay, let's open it up. Ooh, so majestic, so majestic. Let's see. Whoop, there we go, guys. 6 terabytes Western Digital Black. Ooh, I'm so excited, okay. So what I'm going to do first of all is I am going to unscrew these. I'll pick one of these SATA cables and I'll plug it in. Alright guys, that should be the final look of the whole thing. I know it looks terrible, the, the cable management is abysmal, I know that. But that's the best I can do with this case I have. I swear, next time I'm going to upgrade something is going to be the case because I'm tired of looking at this 
piece of crap. <laughs> okay, so this is how I did it. I had to move the Toshiba HDD a little lower. I know it's a pretty close to the Samsung SSD, but that should not be an issue whatsoever. Also, this is the Western Digital HDD. Remember, you have to have a SATA cable from the hard drive to the motherboard. It goes all the way over here. I know it's super difficult to see, but there's the cable. It goes to the SATA 3 one slot. In the SATA 3 zero slot, we have the SSD. This is in the SATA, SATA one slot. We have a cable from the hard drive to the motherboard and also from the hard drive to the PSU. There we go. So that's what you have to do. What Basically what you have to do is unscrew it, put the hard drive in and screw it back in. It's so easy. In the SSD tutorial I did before, I told you guys that you have to unplug all the other drives before you install Windows on the SSD. However, we are not installing Windows. This is just for storage, so you don't need to do any of what I told you in that video. What you have to do is plug it in and start the computer. So let's do just that. Alright guys, I plugged everything in and I turned on the PC. Let's see what we did, shall we? Let's go to my computer. As you can see here, we have the two main partitions of the SSD. We have Windows 10 and the data partition. We also have two other partitions for the Toshiba HDD. But what do you know? We cannot see the new Western Digital hard drive. Why is that? Well, we have to turn it on separately. It's not on by default. So let's put this on the bottom here so we can monitor it. And go to the My Computer icon, which could be over here. It could be over here somewhere. I put mine here for convenience. So what you have to do is right click on the icon. Click on More. Manage. In this window, you have to click on Disk Management. And this little window will pop up. It's gonna ask you if you wanna use it as an MBR or as a GPT. Let's first close this off, shall we? Because I have to show you some things beforehand. As you can see here, we have the two main partitions of the SSD. This is the recovery partition. And we also have another extra partition. Over here in disk 1, we have the new hard drive. Why is it in disk 1 and not in disk 2? Well, because I plugged it into the SATA 3 1 slot and I moved it to Shiba 1 to the SATA 3 2 slot. Over here we can see that it's not allocated, it's not usable right now. Down here we have the hard drive, the Toshiba one, with two main partitions as you can see here. These are the two main partitions and also an, an extra recovery partition. So we have to make this usable somehow. How do we do that? If you close the window beforehand, right click on here and click on initiate disk. We have to convert it into GPT. This is very important. If you don't, you'll only be able to use 2 terabytes of this hard drive. Not more than that. So whenever you buy a hard drive which is more than 2 terabytes, make sure it's on GPT. If it is not, you cannot use more than 2 terabytes. So click OK. As you can see, it's usable now. What we have to do is allocate this. As you can see, it's not allocated, so we cannot use it right now. So. Right click on it and click on New Simple Volume. Click on Next and choose how big you want it. I'll put all of these into one single partition. You could use two partitions, three partitions, ten partitions if you want. However, I'm going to just use one partition. So click on Next. You can also change the letter of the partition. As you can see, we have C, D, E, F, and G. You can move this to G and put this at E or F, it doesn't matter. However, I want it last, so put it on G. So leave that, click Next, and if you want to, you can rename it. So I'm gonna name mine HD Black. Click on Next, Finish. It's gonna take a while to format. And there we go, we have the new hard drive. We can start using the new hard drive whenever we want to. As you can see, one huge partition for this, and we have these two separate partitions for each of these. And that's it guys, it was super simple, if you have any questions whatsoever regarding 
the installation or the options we have to choose, then please leave a comment down below and I'll read all your comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.